I just started using Jasper AI earlier today. I have been a, well, harsh critic for a couple years, but I'm actually getting the hang of how to use an AI tool. I was a critic because I didn't quite understand what to do. I thought you could just give the tool a headline and then it would write it out. But I'm finding that there are specific things that you can use. And one cool thing, you know, Jasper has um, all these templates. So you can write a short paragraph. It can improve content. You can use the Ada framework or the problem agitate solution framework to write sales copy and that sort of thing. Or you could even do a long form content using the documents boss mode. I've done demos for that. So you could check out some of the other videos on the channel. One cool thing you can do is recipes here. So I uh, started dabbling around with the recipe stuff here and I'm going to do kind of a meta thing. I'm going to see what Jasper can come up with on its own about itself. So we'll see how that works out. So let's open the recipe here. And uh, what are recipes? Well, that's a good question. They're pre-built workflows that contain a series of Jasper commands to help you create content using a repeatable process. You can create your own recipes or use the save recipes by the community. So basically it kind of it uh, sort of guides you along the way. So I haven't played with recipes too much, but in fact, this is the first one uh, that I've done, but these are commands here. So it's kind of cool. Like I think once you understand how to use the commands, you actually can go through and write things a little more quickly um, and just you know do things. In this case, it's the idea factory. So it's gonna give us um, some ideas and headlines and questions and different things about a product. So this is really oriented around um, writing a review or sales copy about a product. Okay, so keep that in mind. In this case, um, we'll put in the, the product name and it'll be uh, Jasper AI. And then here I'll just copy and paste uh, Jasper AI. So very good. And it, it tells us here to paste this into the title box. So this is the title box here. I'll just paste that in. And then this stuff here into the content description slash brief. So that is good to go. And we'll call, I want it to be uh, witty and funny and informative. So I, I don't know if it'll take that many, but you know, we're going to see what it can do. So I will uh, click here and I think I can just return down to the next line and this will write headlines. Jasper will write headlines about the above. So I'll click compose and then it will write out, um, well, that is, that is wrong. So, uh, I think I needed to highlight this maybe and no. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try this again. I, I'm not reading the manual on this. So, okay. We're right after <laughs> the command and I'll click compose. So brainiac in a bottle, Jasper AI, the thinking man's best friend, Jasper AI, your own personal Einstein. Okay, so we have a few and I'll, I'll click and see if it comes up with some more. So some of them are not gonna be great, but we're just coming up with headlines and that's one of the things with headlines, right? You, you need a lot of them to choose from. So let's move down. And it says, uh, write more headlines. I think we're good there. We'll write, how about funny headlines? So we'll see if we can come up with any funny ones. Jasper is thinking, and we're doing this real time, by the way. So we're doing a real time, the, get the brains you've always wanted with Jasper AI. Never be outsmarted again with Jasper AI. Be the smartest person in the room. Why settle for a human brain when you can have Jasper? And you know what? Maybe I will title this video something like that. Okay, next we have some skeptical, skeptical questions. Short skeptical questions about the above. So compose. Again, this is coming up with ideas. So I literally can probably use these to come up with ideas for videos. Can Jasper AI help you get ahead in life? So maybe not. Is Jasper worth the investment? Is Jasper AI really, will Jasper AI really make your life easier? And so on. So those are pretty good. Let's see if it will come up with more, if it'll keep listing more how long to pay for itself. 
And is Jasper I, AI really worth the hype? Okay, so now we'll do value proposition. Okay, so this is uh, certainly, you know, a little markety speak. So Jasper AI is the smartest investment you'll ever make. With his help, you'll never be outsmarted again, whether you're at work or in your personal life. It's kind of a bold claim, uh, but let's move forward. With Jasper AI by your side, the sky's the limit. Okay, let's do the, uh, write the PAS. So that's the um, problem agitate solution. That is a framework for a uh, sales copy. So let's see. And I don't know. Okay, so the problem here is worrying about being outsmarted and they agitate it. I think it's kind of in the same sentence. Um, so, okay, so that's not too amazing. Let's check the ADA. So that is, I forget what ADA is. I think it's, uh, yeah, I forgot. We'll come back to it later. All right, write feature to benefit for the above. Jasper AI is more than just a smart assistant. It's your very own personal brainiac. With its help, you'll never have to worry about being outsmarted again. Whether you're at work or in your personal life, Jasper AI will have your back. So why wait? Get Jasper AI today and get... So it only will write a certain number of characters. So it, it stops at some point there. So it says, uh, get ahead of the competition. And then we move forward and say, think of some personas for the above product. So a busy professional who wants a smarter way to get ahead. Stay at home parent who wants help managing the household and family. That's a bit of a stretch. I don't think you need a AI tool that writes content to do that. A retired person who wants a stimulating way to stay sharp. Okay, so these are, these are I think, a little bit inaccurate. So I'm not sure where this information, it, I mean, it came up with personas, but it's kind of like out of context. It actually doesn't even really make that much sense to me. Okay, so describe the emotions a customer feels after buying the above. The customer feels relieved, happy, excited after buying. They feel relieved because they know they won't have to worry about being outsmarted again. And I think this whole outsmarted thing uh, doesn't apply. I don't think anyone is um, using Jasper to avoid being outsmarted. So I don't know what the reference point is for that, but I believe that is inaccurate. So further, they're happy because they have they finally have a smarter way to get ahead in life and they're excited because they can't wait to see all the amazing things Jasper AI will help them achieve. Okay, again, I, don't know, I think those are a little off base. And let's hear the fictional story about a customer using the above. Kate has always been a go-getter. She's always strived to be the best at everything she does, whether it's her job, her hobbies, or her relationships. But sometimes she feels like she just can't keep up. She's always one step behind and it starts to take the toll. It's toll. Uh, this one, she decided to invest in Jasper AI. With its help, she finally has the upper hand. She can now keep up with the competition and even surpass them. With Jasper AI by her side, she feels like anything is possible. Kate is finally able to achieve the success she's always wanted and she couldn't be happier. So this is a vague sort of story with uh, out specifics and I don't think it really applies to Jasper AI. However, what we have learned is what you can do with this sort of a recipe idea. So if you know you want to have the same kind of workflow over and over again, you actually can write your commands, your Jasper commands, and then follow along. So I think in this case, in this very meta case where I try to get Jasper to write about itself, some of the things do apply. I think the best stuff that we came up with here are the headlines. The headlines are pretty good here. Some of the value propositions, some of the uh, personas, the fictional story, those were all a little bit vague. 
I can't blame Jasper for, you know, coming up with these stories. I'm not sure what they drew as a reference point, but I think you could probably, maybe if you uh, went after and, and tried to come up with an idea for a specific product where there is some more information, maybe you could come up with that. Like maybe you were doing reviews on laptops or the new iPhone or something like that. You can come up with some uh, different ideas and maybe that'll be a future video that I do. But I think these recipes are pretty powerful if you know how to use them. As you can see in the wrong hands, my hands, it may give you some uh, varying results, but it does give you an idea. And here we have 744 uh, words that it generated. And it's, I mean, we have something to work from and a bunch of headlines that are actually pretty good that maybe we can use, maybe I will use for this video. If you want to check out more of these, uh, number one, you can subscribe to the channel. I'm doing sort of a deep dive in AI tools. I just started playing with Jasper, but I'm going to be reviewing many of them. I'm going to be doing demos. I'm going to be doing full reviews, who the tools are good for, who they're not good for, things you can do, maybe the different pricing plans that they have and how you might decide which one to get. By the way, I'm using the boss mode here. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can follow the link in the description. I have uh, what essentially is a quote free course. It's in my course platform, uh, but basically it's resources, maybe some longer videos, other demos and stuff like that. And maybe like uh, workflows and things that I don't want to put over on YouTube, but I just want to keep sort of uh, like kind of an insider group. So you can sign up for that. It will be free. You could just sign up and follow the link in the description. My name is Doug Cunnington. I blog at Niche Site Project, and I have a podcast called The Doug Show and talk about affiliate marketing and SEO. We'll catch you on the next video.